today's project is using garden cuttings, all of these different leaf structures to do a cyanotope, cyanotype yeah. art project. And this is what it's gonna look like when we're done. I did this project yesterday. Cyanotype is a type of paper that is UV sensitive, sunlight sensitive. And I'm gonna show you how it works. The paper is right here. It's kept in a black bag because we don't want any exposure till we're ready. And yesterday I used in this project, I used yarrow leaves, Japanese maple, Japanese painted fern, some parsley. And then today I'm going to use my painted fern. This is a uh, maidenhair fern and just some leaves. With your first project, I would always keep it simple. And when you do your project, you want the composition to fit the size of your frame. And a good way to learn is this, take your frame apart and you can use the cardboard backing, the, the hanger part, to put your composition together. So that you have an idea that's gonna fit as that the way you like it. And when you use cyanotype paper, once you've got your composition together, you want to cover it with either a piece of glass or plexiglass. They recommend that if you want to try it for the first time, you can take the glass out of your frame uh, because you're going to be putting the glass right on top of your composition. Pressing it down, you can use tape to tape it together. You can use clips. When I do mine, because I am always hesitant that I will drop this on my way outside in the sun because you do your cyanotype outside in the sun. You have to allow it to be exposed to direct sunlight, sunlight from five to 10 minutes. They say you can do it on a cloudy day. I've not done that and it takes up to 20 minutes, but I'm, I haven't done that and I don't think I would risk it. I'd rather do it on a sunny day like today. Partial cloudy out there today but we're gonna put it out there and see if it works. So what you do, I've got my composition ready. I'm putting mine on a piece of plywood. If you have a large piece of cardboard, you could use that too. Again, once I put my glass on it, I don't wanna be dropping it. This gives me a, a, a safer surface. And this piece of glass came out of a frame we had downstairs, fairly clean, good enough that the sun will beat through it. And now I'm gonna take my cyanotype paper, which I purchased on Amazon, any of the companies are good, and you can buy it any size. These are five by eight, they make eight by tens, and you just have to decide what size you wanna start with. When you take your paper out, you want to be in, you do not wanna be doing this outside in the sunshine when you're doing your project. You wanna come indoors where there's not a lot of direct sunlight because you don't wanna start the process of the paper uh, changing before you're ready to go. So let's take a piece of paper out of the bag. And what you'll find is the back side is white. The front side is blue. And now I'm going to transfer my composition to the paper. And it's so fun to do. All you have to do is put your pieces together, any type of pieces. And let me get my little maiden fern on here too. I think I'm going to stop with that. I thought maybe I would do a little Japanese maple, but I'm going to keep it very clean and simple for this. And I would suggest your first time keep it simple. And then I'm going to place my glass right on top. And we will take this outside, put it in the sun, and then we'll set a timer for five minutes. And if I think it needs more time, I will. The other thing you want to have ready is you want to have uh, cold water ready. And I have in my sink already, um, with a clean sink, I have water in there, cold water. So when I come in, you can rinse it. You can use a tub of water, anything that'll fit the size of the paper that you're using today. So we're gonna take this outside. 
Once it's exposed, we'll bring it inside and we will rinse it. Let me get the door open right here. The process will begin. Once the sun hits it, I'll set a timer for five minutes. And I'm going to use my cement and my stone plus paper on the sides. Get that taped down to hold the pressure. And so now we will start the whole process. Good enough. Can you see the suns on top of this? So what's going to happen is the blue will turn to white and where the uh, ferns and the uh, leaves are, they will turn to blue. So we'll, we'll know to uncover this once this bleaches out. So we'll give it five minutes. And if we need more, I'll come right back. Great. It's been six and a half minutes. We gave it a little more time. We had a cloud go over. And you might, you probably can see now how it has gone to a really bleached out look. Oops, I'm in the shadows yeah. here. There you go. So it's bleached out. We're going to take it inside and um, give it a little bath. And what you're going to find is hopefully that the color, you'll see this negative. There we go. Cool beans. So what was blue turned white and what was over turned oh, blue. That looks really Doesn't nice. Doesn't that look nice? Mm -hmm. Now all we do is we wash this for a minute. And what's going to happen, all that blue is going to disappear. Not that your art's going to disappear. You can see it changing right now. You can see it right changing. It's a miracle. I love it. So what was white turns blue, what was blue turns white, and it's magic. Look at that. Uh -huh. Oh, I love it. This is such a fun project. Um, so easy to do. Look at that. So now I'm just going to lay that flat onto this towel and let it dry for a couple hours. And then we'll frame it up. And as it dries, the paper itself will turn even more blue. And oops. So there we have. How, you know, what was that? If I wasn't talking maybe 10 minutes and you're going to have a wonderful gift to give to someone. Now, wash your hands when you're done. And if you're doing two projects in a row, I would recommend... Uh, drain the water out of here because what the chemicals that came off of that are in here. Also, make certain you start with a nice clean sink. You don't want oils from your, you know, bacon or whatever in that sink when you're ready to rinse We it. don't have bacon in this house. <laughs> That's a big problem. The smell of it. bacon makes me sick. But what you do now, you're going to drain your sink because I'll probably do another project. Uh, but I'm going to bring you back. Once this is dry, we'll get it framed. But isn't that lovely? So here they are framed, both of them. The one on the left, the one that I'm focusing on now, is the one we did together today. And five hours later, it's dry and in it is framed. And I think it looks fabulous. The one on the right of it was done yesterday. Again, just go to your garden, pick out the pieces you like the best, Bring them inside, pick up some cyanotype paper, and uh, try your hand at cyanotype art. So thanks for watching. Both of these would make a beautiful pair for gifts. So tis the season to start thinking about uh, gifts for any time of year, but I'm truly inspired. I'll probably do some more. Bye.